again, uh, welcome to Slack for LinkedIn amplification. Uh, many of you have been probably using Slack and then also LinkedIn for multiple purposes. How do we combine those together and bring synergies? That's the topic for today. My name is Pushpa Atal. I'm the CEO, co-founder of Market Beam. We are a San Francisco-based company. We are a SaaS product uh, who are in social media amplification through employees. So that said, let's get started. Uh, we have a couple of our colleagues on the call. So if you have any questions, either technical questions or about the topic, so please try to like chat it away if, and then they'll try to answer. If there is a topic question, uh, I'll try to answer that most probably during the beginning or maybe like you know, even during the call, I'll be able to like answer those questions. So this was a, this was a fun thing that I saw, right? So here, this Forbes article is talking about nobody is waking up in the morning and wondering to themselves what such and such law firm or any of your businesses said about whatever new thing came out. They're just not. Again, I think this is a very, very true statement. So the audiences are not waking up in the morning thinking about what we actually like, you know, are saying as a company. So what it all means is, do we act like, you know, I mean, we are all on social media. What do we want to see on social media? This is the, the people that we have connected with. It's, it's social, it is people, not so much about the brands. So just to kind of like, you know, uh, going back and then telling a story about like what happened at one of my previous workplaces. So that was a pretty big brand. It was a public company, pretty large company, but yet getting that those audiences to engage on the company page was very, very difficult. Whatever the content that you produce and then again, like the hashtags and then good content. And yet it is challenging for even like you know, established brands and then for growing brands, it's even more difficult to get those eyeballs. So what here we are doing is the LinkedIn social amplification through our own colleagues. Going back to like, you know, our own networks grow every day, larger and larger, and then keep that in mind. So everybody's network combined is going to be much larger for any brand than their own followers. So for example, if a company has like, you know, 50 employees starting from even like, you know, 50 employees, and the combined effect of all their networks is much bigger than the company itself. So with that said, what we see in our database, and then again, like, you know, every company is different, the content is different, and the, um, the, the rate at which that you reach uh, new audiences is different. But at the same time, like, you know, we, we have a regular, we have um, average numbers where we see about like 100 to 150, almost up to like 250, some brands get the impressions every post when a person shares it than just the company shares it. So that's where you see that magnitude of reach at the top level, right? So who are these amplifiers? So I'm kind of like, you know, recognizing some of you here in the participants, and then you see this, right? So who the, the identifying amplifiers is very, very critical. And because go-to-market team is always the one that's always like, you know, how mostly on social media, because that you know, entails to their work as well. Like, for example, the sales teams, the marketing teams, and the executive team, they do a lot of work on social media. They reach out to people, and every day they want to share content. So this team right here, whether they have good followers or not, there's always a new start, right? So the start from somewhere, even if they have small uh, set of followers, so asking them to share this content is very, very critical. It's very critical. So once we actually like cover this and then we go to like all employees, right? So all employees asking them to share too. Again, we're all going back to the fact that nobody is waking up in the morning and thinking that brand blah, like, you know, Market Beam, for example, what's Market Beam doing today versus 
what people in my network are working on. That was more curious to people. So ask them to talk about the brand and so that that's, the brand name gets out. So let's say, okay, we, what, what do we get out of this, right? So I threw a couple of numbers out there, which is 150 impressions, every post per person. That's a very uh, detailed fact out there that can actually like you know you can extrapolate that if you have 50 employees you have 100 employees how many uh how many people you can reach on social so here jim nichols he's a cmo um of uh, he's a and he's a cmo for multiple companies over the years uh he is actually he has used market beam at multiple again like you know companies and then what he saw is we were able to increase for 40x increase in click throughs and then 40% increase in LinkedIn followers and then also 18x in web traffic. Again, all this is this company when he was uh, he implemented Market Beam there, we he, that was about 150 employees. So this is a little bit larger than like, you know, if you have employees that are 25, 50, you would still see exactly the same results. But again, this is extrapolated to um, uh, accommodate like 150 users here. So everybody sharing that, you would start seeing results very, very soon. So, so we sometimes this just looks very rosy, right? The reason that I say that is like, we do ask our employees, okay, let's go share. And then we start seeing results and then like, you know, all these things, but it's not as simple as it just feels. Okay, if we just ask them, they're going to do it. That's that's definitely is the challenge right there. So one of the companies, again, that I worked with in the past, so we all came up with, hey, you know what, this brand is really good, but yet we are not getting engagement as much as we actually expect for the product announcements that we're making, the PR content that we are putting out and all these things. So, all right, let's just ask all our colleagues to share because they're, I mean, especially like, you know, uh, directors and up, their followers were really strong. And then can we ask them? And then let's just go to, go to market, sales, product management, customer success and support and all those people. People, so go to market team and then ask them to share because marketing team was the only one that was motivated to share because it's their content they wanted to see more but the rest of them were not you know we came up with okay let's just send out an email and that's one of our colleagues the social media manager send out an email and uh unfortunately she picked a Friday to send out those emails and then we were east coast west coast company so it used to come to me at like one o'clock pacific time and by then people are wrapping up in the east coast and then nobody saw those emails and then nobody took action on that at all so this is kind of like you know the biggest problem there is employees don't have the bandwidth to participate that is something that i keep hearing even now it is not easy and then even if you just you know send them an emails and give them content it is still not easy to get everybody to take action on it so what do we do i mean because the content is something that the marketing teams are working on and they're putting heavy effort into building this content but it has to reach right people, right, right audiences. The networks of our employees have the right audiences because they've been in the industry. There are, they are reaching out to those uh, people in the industry. So let, uh, there is a poll that we want to ask all of you just to see what, how do you ask your employees to share social media posts today? Do you use emails? Uh, since we are focused on Slack today, so I want to ask if there is anyone that's actually using Slack. That is a pretty common one too. Uh, last week, I was talking to one of these um, uh, marketing managers whose task is to, of course, like, you know, bring more engagement to the posts. So what they actually like, you know, she was trying to do is get everybody to participate in the first one hour of the post uh, publication. So she posts that on a channel, like all employees channel, and then literally manually trying to keep track of how many people are sharing in that one hour so that they can actually reward them. 
So that's a lot of manual work that's actually going behind the scenes. But how do we like, you know, without automating, that's the only way that you can do it. So if you're asking somebody to like, you know, in an email Slack, or if you use in any other tool, um, thank you for answering. So some of you do use social media tool and 25% of you said you just send Slack messages. And okay, so then there is a, a almost a 30% of you say like none. So that means you're not really like asking them. So probably there is a way that you do want to ask as in like as in like you know scale, asking your employees to share. So what uh, again like you know the people asking uh, people as in the marketing teams asking their colleagues on a Slack message has a couple of uh, good things and the bad thing right. So going back to the problem of employee is not sharing so there are there could it could be like you know two ways that we want to solve this one is just ask them not to even like you know lift a finger that means automatically share so that they give permission uh and then to publish this on their profiles and the other one the other is because we are are drowning in apps and then more and more tech on a daily basis. It's for work, it's for personal, even to like manage our own calendars. We have so many apps and then pieces of content that we work on. So why not, instead of introducing another way, because there are some tools probably like, you know, send out a notification, Instead, use something that we are already using, the workflows that we already use, because Slack being such a sticky product by itself, and then this is uh, Slack has been very, very successful in users going back and back for communication. And there are some companies that I see, especially young and growing companies, they are completely moving to Slack instead of using emails. So the reason for that is they can even like, you know, have uh, these integrations like Google Docs or even share content and uh, track. And so there is a trail. And then just like, again, like, you know, chat has become so popular and internal communications through Slack is as some companies have adopted very, very stickily. So use that same workflow. So if your company if your company is a lot more on Slack, that means if they're already using Slack, why not use the same workflow? So if they are using like, you know, emails, then stick with emails. But if they are using Slack, then go to that place and then try to see how you can implement this in the same daily workflow. So today, what I'm going to show you is like, you know, there is a manual way, of course, like, you know, the one that I mentioned, right? So this marketing manager last week I talked to who, uh, who actually like, you know, publishes the link, like the LinkedIn post link into a channel uh, that is all employees channel. And then what, and, and, and try to guess who actually published. So if you think about all the steps that have to go in from the employee's perspective, in order to get the post published is multiple steps, right? So first of all, you, of course, you are on the channel, you've got the message. And you you go to the, you click on the link you go in there and then you need to either like you know sometimes what they do what she was doing here in this example was they give the the link the the destination link and then also a copy that they have to like create a new post so grabbing all these things going into LinkedIn and creating a new post takes a lot of time, especially if you start doing this on a daily basis, or even sometimes multiple times a day. So that is definitely not like, you know, practical for many of us with even like, you know, taking a couple of minutes off of your work, or we would just like put it off, okay, let me do it at the end of the day, or not um, engaging at the time that everyone else is on social media. So what uh, here, I mean, if you can, if you find other products, this is actually like kind of plug. This is what we do here at Market Beam. If you find a product that actually does this, please go find it, automate it. 
So here we are, um, Slack certified, Slack certified app. So what I'm going to show you here is, let me show the Slack itself, my So this is my Slack. So here, this is Market Beam as an app right here. And then I have all the content that my marketing team is producing. So this comes as a direct message. So this is a direct message to, uh, let me. This is a direct message that I get. This is not a channel, it's a direct message. So every post here has a share now button. So share now as in like, you know, this is directly going to share on your LinkedIn. So the plumbing behind the scenes is all users connect their social accounts to market beam or like, yeah, like, you know, any social amplification tool that you use. So they, when they connect, whether when there is new content puts out by the marketing team and there is a message that goes out directly in real time to these employees as direct message so the power of share now is when i click share now it's going to be publishing a post directly to my profile i'm not copy pasting anything whether i'm on phone that's even easier right so you're on phone you get this message all you're doing is share now on your phone so i'm going to click on this share now so it's actually published, right? So that's it. So I'm not doing anything. You don't have to take any other action. You don't have to log into LinkedIn. You don't have to log into like, you know, Market Beam app or any other app. This is direct publishing. So this is the article we try publishing. That's the one, right? So that's what you saw here on Slack. And let's go see how it published. There you go. So this is published in real time based on what we saw here. So they said that it published. So that that that's as simple as that. So this, uh, including any of these like new programs into the workflow that you already have. And then that's the one that's going to bring e like, you know, like less friction, less friction into introducing new programs. So this integration is not like a Zapier type of integration. If you're aware of uh, what the Zapier integrations look like, usually they take two apps and then they try to combine it. Again, you got to maintain, you got to pay for Zapier, all these things. Here it is directly, we, we, we have integrated. That means you can actually find us on Slack Marketplace and tap it out, Market Beam, and you can find our app. So here, clicking this is directly going to make this publishing. So here, the share now button has a lot of information behind the scenes. So that means it has uh, the, the permission to publish this and then also whose feed it should go into and then all those things. So here, uh, let me just like, you know, kind of go over here, uh, go back. So with this, again, like, you know, keep in mind the, again, you know, you just have to use something that you already have and then ask your employees and then to share. And that really like brings that engagement high and then also on a daily basis, right? So there are things like, you know, okay, I want, I can't put this money on ads or I can put this money on organic. So what we are doing today is like, you know, what you're seeing here is mostly organic. That means earned media and you can use as many times as possible, right? So it, there are no, um, there are no, uh, there's no money that you're putting in for every publishing, every post or every click. So this is organic, make use of your own networks. And uh, again, like, you know, the major thing here is make it super, super simple and then easy for everybody to share. Uh, if you want to take a take a look at this demo or see how we want to make it even simpler for your employees to share, let us know. Uh, but otherwise, if you are all set, then um, we can uh, see if there is a, there's only one question here. Okay. 
Yes. So the question here is uh, how do how do we like you know connect these two apps? Like because they're seeing Slack. And then they saw that there is an app, which is Market Beam, which we were we are talking, referring to. And then they saw the LinkedIn. So how do we connect? So there is no external integration that you need to do. So this is done at the back end with the plumbing, the answer to that. And then there is no, like, you know, like, again, like going back to my Zapier example, you don't have to like create anything else that is external. There is no IT involved or anything. So it ha- it comes with the integration. All you got to do is just install and then that takes like 30 seconds to do that. All right, so we are at the end of our time here and thank you everyone for joining the call. Uh, for those uh, who wants to see this, uh, how it works for your own companies, yes, we'll reach out to you. And then otherwise, have a good rest of the day.